Today we're gonna to draw human faces in a easy but proportional and realistic human way using the one half method. We're gonna start by drawing a circle. Now it's crucial that you understand to draw a circle properly, you need to use your shoulder. If you use your shoulder, this ball and socket joint is actually gonna allow for a circular rotation. So you're gonna be able to draw a circle a lot easier. If you just use your hand and your wrist, it's gonna be more of an egg shape, more of an oval. So here, I've, I've cleaning, I'm cleaning things up and I'm also checking to make sure that I've got the shape that I want because I need to start off with the cranium, the top part of your head being a circle. At this point, I'm starting to divide the circle into half. The reason I'm doing that is because the remainder of your face, the lower, the mandible area is gonna be one third of your face, which is gonna be half of the circle. So if we find the halfway point of the circle, we'll just add that to the bottom of our face and that'll create the proper length for our chin. Now I should say that not every face is the same length. Some faces need to be shorter, longer, wider, skinnier. This all depends on the subject that you're drawing. So please take note of that as you're drawing faces should I follow these procedures that I'm learning now, or should I adjust them to make it fit the face I'm trying to draw? So I've erased the bottom of the circle because I don't need that anymore, it's gone. And I've divided the face into half. We got our left and our right hand side. So from here, I'm now gonna find the middle. So the middle from the top to the bottom, not the middle of the circle that we drew first, it's the middle of the top to the bottom of our face. So finding that halfway point, I'm then gonna make a small mark and I will be drawing a line going all the way across. So I'll go ahead and tell you now, this is gonna be for your eye line. This is where your eyes are gonna go. And your first instinct is gonna be, that's way too low for eyes. I assure you, it is not. There's so much more that needs to be happening above your eyes that you don't typically think of. This line we're drawing now is gonna be for the nose. Now that nose is halfway from the eye line to the bottom of the chin, halfway there, that's where your, the bottom of your nose is gonna be. Now it could be a little bit higher, it could be a little bit lower, again, depending on your actual person you're drawing. You can't just draw one face the same way. And then from the nose to the bottom of the chin, halfway, is gonna be your mouth line. So now I'm going back and I'm making these lines longer, bolder, to make it easier for you to see for this video. This is not something I would typically do for myself because I don't need those lines darker, I just need to know where that should exist. And then off to the side, I'm gonna make a mark and I'm gonna write down the fractions. If you were to break down your face as a whole number one, what it, each section would be. So the section from the top of the head to the eye line, that's gonna be one half of your entire face is from here to here. From eyes to nose is gonna be one fourth of your face and from your nose to your mouth is one eighth and then from your mouth to your chin is another eighth. And off to the left, I've written eyes, nose, mouth. And then I'm making mark five eyes wide. Yes, across your face, there should be five eyes wide. Not because we have five eyes, but because we need this spacing. So you start with the one in the middle, a little arch in the middle, and then two on each side for a total of five. And then I'm drawing a few more guidelines to indicate how wide an average nose would be, how wide your mouth would be, and those are gonna be our guidelines. Guidelines do not have to be followed strictly. They are there as a placeholder for you to use as a guide to then draw the size and shape that you need based off the face that you're trying to draw. This video is not about how to draw eyes, nose, or mouth. This is about where they should go on the face. If you would like in a future video that I could go back and teach you how to draw eyes, nose, and mouth, please let me know. I'll be happy to do that. Now I'm starting to draw the ears. The ears should happen somewhere around eye to nose line. So if you're looking straight, you'll see that the top of your ears are gonna usually hit with your eyes and the bottom of your ears are gonna hit with your nose. My ears are a little bit longer, so they're actually a bit lower than my nose. But that's the type of thing that you need to study. You'd actually need to see what's actually happening on the face that you're trying to draw. Is it the one half proportion method or is it gonna be adjusted? 
So I was just working on the chin. I wish I had left the chin a little bit shorter. It got a little bit too long for- They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Now here on the top of the head, from eye to the top of the head, I'm dividing that into thirds. The reason I'm dividing one, two, three into thirds is because that's gonna be the indication of the hairline. Now the top of your hairline is gonna be about that top third of your, your cranium area. This is from your eyes, the top of the head, and that's gonna be where you start. It's gonna be more the kind of center point. And then from there, you'll draw the left and the right. And I typically go back and forth, a little bit left, a little bit on the right, try to keep myself doing that. So I'm gonna have better symmetry. That's it for this video on how to draw human faces proportionally using the one half method. Remember, these are just guidelines, so please adjust them as needed. And while you're at it, follow Create Art with Chris on Instagram.